All right, boys and girls, we gotta do a second challenge for the day. Whenever bike comes, we gotta try to put as much challenges in the fishing day as possible, right? And today, uh, since we do big baits already, we're gonna throw something more finessey. And I am gonna be playing around with Core Tackle, their hover rig on the bento bait from uh, Lunker Hunt. And I'll just do an overlay so y'all can see that. But as uh, y'all been watching my videos, I've been playing around with hover strolling. And uh, it's a great technique for cold water season. This morning we had some uh, ice here, so uh, the water is pretty cold. And uh, main lake though is warmer. It's uh, 46 degrees, so I'm hoping I can coax some fish to bite. And now Mike got a new lure that he have created with Guggen bait. Camera around, and Mike could talk all about this cool bait. Sure thing. So we've got the classic Senko style bait, which is one of the most popular baits of all time across all fishing techniques. Then I have my own signature color, which I've selected, Magic Mike. Might have been a nickname of mine, maybe. I don't know. So essentially, I wanted to create a bait that works in all types of water clarities, all types of water conditions. I kind of made a hybrid of my two favorite plastic colors, green pumpkin and watermelon. Uh, did a laminate design together. And what I did in addition to that is I selected a bunch of my favorite colored flakes. We got some blue, some black, some silver, and some gold. Various sizes. This will show up even if the water is a little stained or dingy and it'll also look very natural in clear water. Hoping I catch a lot of fish. We'll see. All right. So guys, this is what's going to happen. We're going to do the finesse fishing challenge. Let's see who catch the most fish using our favorite finesse techniques. Let's go. Woo. All right. Woo. Ah, let's go, baby. All right. Here's the kick. Whoop. Sir. Dang, that's uh, pretty shallow and muddy now. Yeah, it is, right? I bet you in like a year or two, we're going to have trouble launching here. You think so? Oh, yeah. Mm. Now with kayaks, no, that should be all right. Yeah, I, I guess it's all right. It's going to be a little muddy, that's yeah. all. All right, so here we are. We head to the main lake. We're going to look for those fish, those open water fish, and we're going to have a stroll. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to mid-stroll. For those who don't know what mid strolling is, it's just slow rolling in the middle of the water column. And uh, you pick lures that does not have like swimming paddle uh, action. So it's very finessey. And um, yeah, I'm gonna see if this hook here, the core tackle, the hover rig is gonna be re really, really good. If not, you know, I got my uh, traditional Japanese style hover rigging um, stuff, you know, hook and a nail weight. And uh, we could try that in comparison. But uh, yep, I think uh, I'll probably catch more fish than Mike today with this technique because, uh, well, one, I have side structure scan, so I know where those fish are gonna be at. And uh, two, I'm pretty confident that the hover strolling uh, technique is way better than Senko during this time of the year. So, all right, we'll find out. Y'all probably wondering what my setup is. I got the new Arc Gravity Bait Finesse Reel, BFS Reel, and I have a 0.8 Go. This is the Don Gon X8 braid from Major Craft. Okay, 0.8 go. I have about 125 feet spool on there. Uh, so there's plenty of room left. I've done it so I keep the weight of the spool light. And then I have six pound floral leader. Uh, and of course the bento, right, from Lunker Hunt. 4.5 inch and size two hook, um, 30 second ounce. That's the hover rig jig from um, core tackle. So we're gonna cast this out there and uh, see how that goes. And oh yeah, the rod, dummy jumbo. I have the Soinoya Dragon 2. This is the C702L, a model that's discontinued. They don't make this length anymore, but they have the C662L. So six foot, six inch, two piece, light rod. But yeah, I do see fish out here. And I'm just casting out there. I'm just gonna roll in very slowly. But this is a very, very nice, Graphite rod, two piece, uh, very sensitive. Uh, it's not overly stiff, but uh, it's, it has enough backbone to uh, handle these single jigs. But if you like to throw treble hook lures, you could do that too. It's not too bad. But yeah, I'm gonna reel this in very slowly and just see uh, what's the action. So yeah, it doesn't roll like some of the Japanese uh, uh, mid strolling lures. I, I guess that's the limitation of having a hook and the weight too close together. That's why I like to have the weight uh, at the bottom. I like to have the ability to put the weight where I want it for the right falling action. So yeah, I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna look for those fish and um, see who catches fish. All right, 
right when I shut off the camera, we have a nice slab. Woo! First fish. There we go. All right, off you go. That's fish. Aye, uh, that was a nice tap. Bam, got another one. All right, well, I guess I could have a stroll for some nice crappies, but we're kind of here for the bass. Because, uh, well, Mike is uh, bassing it up, right? He got a Senko. And uh, this is actually interesting because I was trying to push the hook out and because the hook has uh, the point at the end, it's actually hurting my finger. <laughs> yeah, mm. so I guess it, so I guess I can't push the, the head of the jig down. So got to get some uh, pliers or forcep, grab the hook. All right, off you go. That's fish. Oh, what the? Came off. All right, time to put the OG Fish Arrow Flash J3 inch. Gotta feel pre rigged already. This is true. Hover strolling. I got the hook all on the top, okay, and then the weight's all at the bottom. So this is gonna cause some rolling, and this smiler gonna do some flash just like the other lure. But uh, now that we're using a different hook and weight system, hopefully this will trigger some of the fish to bite. Oh, that was a fish. <laughs> So yeah, I'm getting a little bit more action with this slightly smaller lure. Three inches versus, uh, what's that, four and a half? That's fish right there, and then it's gone. It's like on and off. Yeah, as y'all see, <laughs> there's definitely fish in here. Let's see what happens. Got him. Oh yeah. All right. Windblown cove, slab it up. Yeah, I guess the crappies would love the smaller lure just a little bit more, right? So here we go, flash arrow. All right, so they're all right here. Let's cast out there, let's sink slowly and that's a fish right there and it came out. But yeah, the taps are interesting. Very, very interesting. They tap it, but it's not in their mouth. Uh-oh. That's fish. And it came out again. <laughs> oh, man. This is fun. The question is, will I catch a bass out of here? There's a lot of fish here. Fish right there, but it's not in. That's fish right there. Got him this time. Oh yeah. Have a stroll in. Mm -mm, good. Got some crappies. Oh. All right. Off it goes. Now I know there's a lot of crappies right here, right by the dam. So I'm gonna move up a little bit more. See if there's any fish up this way. Oh, that's a fish. All right, all right. Another crappy. I'm on fire. Fire, fire. Crappy. All right, another slab. And dude, I'm marking a lot of fish over there too. Windblown bays are nice. There's definitely crappies in here. And if there's that many uh, crappies in here, there might be a big bass in here. And that might be it. That's, that's not, oh no, no, it's a crappie. But he's battling a lot better than the other ones. Oh man. 
Oh man. I found the crappies. I found the crappies. All right, off it goes. All right, so there are some fish that's bigger than crappies in this bay, this cove. So I'm gonna cast in there and see if I can coax some of them to bite, but it looks like a lot of them are gonna be crappies. But hopefully we'll catch one of those big mono bass. Like, I am marking stuff. Okay, oh, there's a fish right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude. Mm. Nice one, huh? Off it goes. Yeah, my goal is to really get some of those bass out of this cove because when you have a windblown cove, bait fish get blown here. And that's why the crappies are staged here. And you have crappies too. You know, I'm throwing big uh, baits earlier and, uh, you know, we're catching fish. So potentially there could be some big fish in here too. I mean, like at the end of my video, I was like, I'm gonna go down this way and I'm gonna catch fish this way. And I, I, and I did it. So I know where the fish are at. The question is, can I get these uh, fish to commit to a small little bait? Oh, oh, that was a nice one. Oh, uh, no. I lost a very nice one. Oh, pickerel. No, pickerel, they took it. Ah, stolen. Ah, well, they're stacked. There's so much fish here, it's insane. All right, I'm gonna have a stroll the live target, the ghost tail minnow. I already pre-rigged it, so I'm gonna take it out and uh, fish it. I am using the traditional Japanese style. I do have a weight at the bottom and I'm using fish arrows, uh, their hook. So let's get them. Fish on. Yeah, yeah. Crappy. All right. Come on. Biggest crappy of the day. Woo! Look at that. You want to try to hover strolling? Okay, you can also throw the big bait. Yeah, uh, right there are some big bass here, right? Oh, dude. How big are we talking? Five, six pounders. Oh, yeah. Dude, you're fired. I'm a. They're stacked. That's why I got that pickerel bite me off earlier. Yeah. Because he's just lurking around. He might take a bite out of these crappies, whatever he wants, yep. you know? And I'm hoping the big bass gonna do the same thing. That's why I was like, I'm gonna work here for a while. Yeah, there's gotta be at least a couple bass over here. But right here, deep water, that's definitely crappies and all around. Carp? You got perch in here too? Both perch. Both perch. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That. White and uh, yellow. Back into the bay. Oh, that's a fish right there. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And it is a crappy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, crappy fishing. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, all right. Something right here, a pot of crappies, right? All right, open water. Now they got a different bait on. I want to go in the open water for a second, just in case, um, you know, this color right here is drawing more bites for bass and stuff like that. But yeah, that, that's a lot of fish right out here in the open. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of fish. I need to get this back in, not back over there. 
the action is right this way. Okay. So I got to put the lower right here. Oh, that's fish right there. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Looks like a crappie, I think. Oh man, this open water crappie is humongous. All right. So yeah, whenever they show up in the size structure scan, whoo, harvest trolling is a great way to target them. Yes, sir. Finally got something, bro. They are not freaking. They will not hit a bait on the bottom. Woo, this guy has a lot of energy. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Well, I can start throwing something similar. I got an inline spinner. All right, so Mike is throwing a spinner bait, so I might as well change to a inline spinner. So this is a homemade inline spinner, and it works pretty good. So, uh, he just nailed a nice picker out. A tiny, you know, tiny one. It, what the heck? And I got snagged. <laughs> nope. I got the tree. Got a fish! Oh yeah! Always by that tree, man. Dude! Yeah! Freaking nice bass! Woo! A bass! Dude, here we go. This guy choked the inline spinner. This is what's up. All right, Woo. that's a nice uh, solid three pounder maybe. Close to three pounder. Off you go, yeah. All right folks, so uh, interesting, interesting session, yeah? So, Mikey. Yeah, man. Senko, <laughs> what, what, what's the verdict of Senkos? I would say that these conditions, not ideal. I, I got zero fish, had one bite on that, you know, that magic tree. Mm -hmm, the one bite tree. there, fish picked it up, spit it out in less than a second, and then nothing. Damn, I love that tree, though. Yeah, I love that tree, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, but the harvest trolling, it was fantastic. Always fantastic to throw something like that. I like, I think most of the fish are in open water right now to suspend yeah. it. Uh, if you're in a summer season, yeah. right, and all the fish are kind of like hiding that, in structure, yes. Senko is yeah. the bomb.com. Wacky rig, yep. uh, Texas rig, does not matter. That would do really well. But I like agree. for me, most of the fish were open water near yeah. that dam. Harvest trolling. You did great, bro. Crush it. Yep. Well done. Yo, come back next time, like winter time. Let's do some harvest trolling. I'm down. I gotta try. You gotta teach me that technique. I don't know it. I got you. Just bring uh, your ultralight it. stuff yep. and we get it. Sounds good, man. Y'all hear it? Stay tuned. We're gonna do another winter trip. Harvest trolling with this guy. Peace.